Hello, this is Michelle Nye and this is the Astrological Update for Cancer for the whole of the week of the 30th of July. Um, this week, that is a full moon and as we know, the moon is your leader and it's in your 8th house. Very intense, very full on. You may feel desires and you may feel surrendered to some powerful primal emotion. You may want to obsess about someone from your past or you may feel an intense sexual attraction or you may go into the depths of your hopes and fears. But either way, it's almost as if you cannot escape the depth and primal nature of this moon. But it's also saying to you, shine a light within your soul. Get rid of any jealousy, get rid of any fears. Get rid of anything that's holding you back, any self-doubt. Purge yourself and face the past and release the pain because today is a brand new day and you can reinvent yourself today. The moon is delivering a message. It may reveal a secret connected to someone else, but there is messages all week because there are grand air trines this week which are affecting everybody, actually making us all have the ability to evaluate and be a little bit more objective about things. The universe is saying, take a step back without emotion and really reflect on your life. Now, for you, the grand trine is Venus in the 12th, trine Mars in the 4th, trying moon in the eighth. So actually it's quite emotional for you. It's all about your soul and your spirit and your karmic journey. You're feeling maybe a little bit vulnerable, but Mars is saying to you, you are secure. Do not fear. There may be some family issue that's going on that reminds you of something in the past that brings up an issue, but you're able to look at it because it is air ultimately in a slightly more objective manner. And then, you know, we have Saturn in the fourth, trying Moon in the eighth, trying Venus in the twelfth, and that Moon is reminding you further of all, how you feel emotionally. But on the fourth, we have Neptune, the planet of spiritual awakening, Chiron, the wounded healer, and the Moon conjunct in your ninth house. So you move on from the fourth. You move on to seeing things in a much more philosophical way, of looking at your life in a more adventurous way, of saying, I'm ready to go on an emotional, sexual or spiritual journey and I'm fearless. Take care and I'll speak to you soon.